Yeah, big, big welcome to all the zodiac signs, but particularly to you, my dear Gemini, because the moon is in your sign and the moon is that inner feeling, is that intuition, is that, yeah, we feel that, right? We feel that water, the moon is the water, moves the ocean. And the sun, which is in Aquarius, is moving the eye, that external, that I want to go somewhere. Now, we all feel that. We all feel this combination. And that's why I keep the readings quite open. So anytime you feel like a title is appealing to you or a picture is appealing to you, you more than welcome to look into the reading because I've got this very distinct message on the 1st of January where I was doing a reading for uh, Sagittarius and I saw my own story literally with the people that I was spending the night before with and I thought okay <laughs> is this my reading or well, what's happening here and it was basically for Sagittarius, but it was then also for me. As you can feel, the sun is coming, the birds are chirping, it's a very bright day, it's two air signs coming together, the sun in Aquarius and the moon in uh, Gemini, and Gemini and Aquarius both are air signs. This is the king of swords and you are the knight of swords so there is something happening in this consciousness and it's moving all of us it's the hope is coming down we feel light sometimes we even a little forgetful because it's too much air and this is very beautiful story the hope the sun is a star it's just we see it round and the stars that are far, far away, they are also round. But we just see the rays and it's um, points of the stars. Your story, very beautiful, always the self-love, the lovers, finding your true love, looking at yourself, looking up to the angel and the subconscious always looks up because that's that has been here first and the conscious is looking at the subconscious and is literally asking what am i supposed to do so that's why the conscious the male is attracted to the female because that's actually and that's why men are controlling women so much is because she is there first when we think of god we always think of light but god or that whole highest creation is dark. There's nothing to be seen. There is this infinite ocean of darkness and we are afraid of that. So the work here is that this is, um, this is the purpose. This gives us purpose. Hope never dies, they say. And this gives us the purpose to continue and this highlights to the waxing moon um, the energy of consciousness. I want to find consciousness. I want to find awareness. I want to find the hope within this story, right? So the yoga positions that I have for the star is the side plank, holding one foot, being here in this position, up in the air and also grounded and in the water. And the five-pointed star, the six-pointed star and the eight-pointed star, the transformation that's happening here, the sixth and the seventh chakra coming together. And then the eighth chakra, the earth star here on earth, showing your light and your position is one of the most difficult position which is king pigeon and you give with the heart the pure love of the feminine 
and here the sexual, the masculine energy because that penetration and the feminine uh, energy is giving, is passive, right? She just gives. She doesn't ask, should I or should I not? Here it's another story. It's that sexual energy of the hexagram pointing down and the other one pointing up. The snake and in both directions coming into the center as that sexual energy and again here male and female at the tree of life where the rose is growing out the heart i mean you can see it's just like it's a very magic card that is here inspiring us so the knight of swords if your birthday is between may 10th and june 9th this is your card Look in the description below, I have all the dates for the other birthdays and the court cards. So you are looking into the past, but it's not really that they're saying looking in the past. You are showing your left side, you're showing your intuitive side. And you are holding the sword in your right, which is that masculine side, and the horse in your left hand and you give it the direction to move literally move where you move i have here the path of the medicine woman book and these are very beautiful energies these native american cards the cards itself are german because i don't have my english cards here i have them in another place and the cards are literally giving us a solution right away to sometimes these difficult cards. You have the four of stones coming up and here your basic needs are fulfilled and it's giving you the self-employment. The direction is go and become self-employed. Start your own business what you got to do mentally prepare yourself to know when i'm self-employed how am i functioning i'm not a little wheel in a big wheel i'm becoming a bigger wheel of big wheels and you are creating now something worth to go for to go towards then from the creativity oracle this card came next and i want you to just look at this card and feel what it is that you feel when you look at it and what do you see free associate allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you the number eight and the number eight is the number eight of the star. And I see two stars. I see two, two giraffes. I see one fish. I see one wolf looking at the fish, literally being, hey, what the heck? What are you doing? Why are you jumping out? And that's the evolution of the moon. That's the evolution that the moon is in right now in your sign you are evolving you are shifting and you are invited to have a free association and to allow that first thing that pops into your mind when you see this card to give you um, a vision don't censor it don't control it. it gives you a vision and allow this vision to give you the power to move into the self-employment and self-employment means that you are needing a vision because otherwise you cannot do this work but the message is here and now you get the vision you get invited to have the vision after that the card the second card came out of the creativity oracle i work 
with a lot of different decks because I feel like I, they all have something to say. I work with different oracle decks and different tarot decks and I shuffle and whatever comes out, if it's one card, if it's um, a stack of cards, I take them and I then create this path. And so there's a second card that came up with the Creativity Oracle. And now have a look at this second card. What is this card telling you? Beliefs. We all have certain beliefs that help us or can trap us and keep us from moving towards creative solution. The number 59 calculated together will be then the number five. So you have an eight and a five. Five is the Hierophant. Five is the church. Five are the institutions. Five are the beliefs that we've been given as a child, as parents believed in certain things. They gave us a tool which can work but which can also trap you. That's why they say uh, we all have certain beliefs that help us or can trap us and keep us from moving towards creative solutions. Now, a creative solution is something that you know there are problems in this world. And for me, I don't even use that word anymore. For me, that word is done. I say, oh, there's a situation. Well, for a situation, I find always a solution. Now, you are a little trapped in this belief because you have the five of cups coming up from the Muse Tarot. All my tarots are listed down below. The Muse Tarot is saying, okay, something is making you sad, something is holding you in an energy that, yeah, that makes you sad. A sadness which we all know about, a sadness which we all can feel and see here in this little water uh, element here, that, that sadness, that emotional, that dropping here, there is a ship. It's, it's not easy to see it. So maybe you want to go somewhere, maybe you want to leave, maybe you want to find a creative solution. The creative solution is already right here. This ship that is moving forward. And you have here this understanding of a family and that this family is also looking at you, how you are now taking this path to self-employment and your family is kind of like, okay, what is he doing? At the same time, there's this fish jumping as well in this direction. There is this evolution because it doesn't matter. We can do a circle to the left. We can also do a circle to the right. So they look at you, how you going towards the four of stones, how you going towards, I need to do this because my intuition tells me that because today the moon in your sign is telling you, I've got to really love myself to such an extent because this is about self love that I can be self employed, that I can create my own business and they watching you and here this dog is literally looking back and saying, okay, yeah, I'm going, I'm going in this direction. I'm going to check my beliefs. I'm going to see, yeah, I have to awaken. I have to understand that I need to learn that certain emotions are still making me quite sad. And I guess they have been indoctrinated into you as a young age, maybe even through the evolution. Because the fish is the subconscious. The fish is where the sun is moving next reading. 
and you have the stars up here <clears throat> coming to you two stars it's a couple there's a couple situation also going on then comes a very beautiful card which is the dolphin and the dolphin is literally saying hey don't be sad don't go into the past right go into the future go forward because yes you can go into the past and see what it is that you still need to do to become self-employed with the four of stones with the sun in capricorn which was last reading you realize that being conscious of yourself being conscious of a duality within you of a consciousness that is seeking constantly the opposite gives you power and now you got the dolphin to be playful to move forward and this is a water sign and coming and saving you from this sadness and the dolphin is innately intelligent healer light and blessings when in balance active healer strong spiritual practice wow the gift of the dolphin are beyond what our human mind can grasp dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit it's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. And it's, it's clear, it's speaking to you that this dolphin energy can be a person that comes to you and it's saying, I help you to liberate yourself from your beliefs, from a belief that is trapping you in an indoctrination of the church, maybe, because it's the five when we calculate the number together. And the nine, it's a completion. There is a completion. There is a hermit energy here. And the hermit does have this kind of coat over him. The hermit does look like this. There is an hermit energy. There is an ending. There is a completion happening. Helping you to get out. Helping you to see the value. A value of steadiness. Of four. Of groundedness. Of the emperor. A groundedness that is saying now you can emotionally even go further and active heal yourself you got to heal yourself because there is something that you need to shift there is a sadness that is stuck within you and it's literally like the boat is saying yes and you know how these dolphins jump in front of the boats you follow this jumping dolphin because you some intuitively know that this is bringing you forward that this is bringing you out of this sadness this pure amazing animal is giving you now the feeling yes jump go and follow this jumping dolphin that is always jumping in front or next to the boats when they go and traverse the ocean the deep ocean of healing and that is the speed which is carrying you forward amazing that is the speed it's giving you the understanding you can jump into six you are the card number six you are the speed you are the 
fastest night there is. You are Speedy Gonzales, we could actually say. You are the speed and this is the number six. You are jumping forward and you are saying, yes, I want to be like this dolphin. I want to go forward and jump. And where do you jump into is what is that belief, which is that the church has created a devil. The church has created a belief into the Capricornus, into the son of Capricorn, which is right here, the son of Capricorn. This is the son of Capricorn. This is the major arcana. This is the devil. That is the attachment. And you are jumping literally over this energy and you're saying, I have understood that there are beliefs, that there are things and you got in the free associate the number eight the hope you got the star that is coming down that is falling down and inspiring you you got the understanding hey i've got to move forward and i literally have to jump out of this belief system and this sadness that this belief system has created within me and it is, in a way, when we look at Jesus hanging on the cross, I mean, it's not just a pretty picture. I mean, I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to suffer. And that suffering is now coming out. And that's what the age of Pisces is showing us. The age of Pisces, Pisces is the evolution backwards through the zodiac signs. The age of Pisces, we're jumping into the age of Aquarius and the Aquarius is coming down is literally saying yes wake up wake up because this sadness has nothing to do with anything then uh, indoctrination has to do with the belief system that is trying to hold you so that they can come and save you you don't need to be saved you save yourself you're jumping over the devil, but the devil is not a negative energy. The devil is actually Pan, God Pan, with his Pan flute. He's dancing and you are literally dancing yourself out of this belief system because it's not a negative energy. This is also a number six. And this is speaking to you directly because this card has the same in the um, Rider Waite deck. There is now a devil and the two people are chained to an energy, are chained to a belief system and you're jumping over because he dances. He's the goat that climbs up straight walls. I mean, this the goat does things. It's crazy. And it's exactly this. It's jumping. It's doing things. You're jumping over. And where do you jumping over? You're jumping over the devil and literally landing in this nest, a nest that is giving you now the new understanding of you take care of yourself, the protective nest, the number seven, the six, six, jumping into the seven, jumping into the higher consciousness, which is always in your head and jumping forward and realizing you are, have created now a portal when you find yourself when you love yourself, when you absolutely open both in your sexuality and in your heart, then you understand that the movement forward is into the seven, from six to seven. And yes, you have released yourself out of this belief system, have shifted and have landed in the protective nest in the number 25, the seven. Wow, what a message into here a bird that is looking at you saying, yes, come, come, jump into this consciousness, into this awareness, into this um, beautiful energy, right? He's like, you are literally jumping and healing yourself. And then comes the four of fire. And the four of fire is 
again like I'm putting this one down like the four of stones it's a stability in creating now something that is helping you what actions do you have to take to be self-employed what do you need to do to create or act upon you cannot think only about it you cannot only be mentally active and yes this is where i want to go and this is what i want to do you also need to do you also need to use the material side you need to incorporate everything to that you can create what you want to create and here comes the four of fire here comes the pan the, the, the pan flute you see that the music you're using the music you jumped into the seven and now you keep moving forward because four of capricornus four of here you jumping through it wow so cool right you're really jumping through it and you are continuing to dancing you're continuing to enjoying yourself you continue again to realize hey there is an indoctrination that is now freeing myself so that I can sit here, spread my wings like this bird and play the pan flute. You see this? She's playing the flute. She's liberating the devil from a negative perspective. And that's the darkest month of the year. And then comes the vision quest and the vision quest is the number 60 again the number six six and zero look at this six 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 i mean this is crazy you have a six 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 portal through the seven and you have a four four portal i mean this is uh, so empowering liberating yourself through the hermit and the nine the um higher fund and the hermit together helping you to relieve all these beliefs all these sadnesses all these look he's dressed like the hermit he's dressed in that and then comes the full jump the full liberation the full jumping out there is this spirit animal coming and helping you and liberating you out of this belief system of the church of the hierophant and even maybe of the hermit and you liberate yourself and coming through this into the vision quest and the vision quest i'm gonna read to you what it means to do a vision quest it's really clear which is almost one of the last cards there's 64 of them the essence in the vision quest you face your fear embrace your mortality and then meet face to face with spirit when we feel stagnant a vision quest brings our lives into perspective we realize our flaws our potential and the opportunities life is now offering us. We remain on a vision quest until we find the key to open a new door or write a new chapter in our lives. Oh my God. So find clarity by spending time alone in nature. Go outside the city and walk in parks or in the big forest and get off the couch get away from your desk go outside and spirit helps those who help themselves who heal themselves who realize that yes i need to heal myself from this belief system i need to realize that this belief system is making me sad you see the blue you see the blue here and you jumping <laughs> you jumping because you realizing that's the only way by actively doing something by actively being part of a movement you can get out of something that was indoctrinated into you a long time ago for 2000 years there was a devil for 2000 years there was 
a movement, the five, there was something that gave us beliefs and these beliefs are now coming out of us, are now through tears, through the emotions, are being released because there is the dolphin, because there is the number six, because there is the dancing devil, the devil dances, right? Is in the pan flute, is in panic, is in the pandemic. We got to dance, we got to do it, we got to evolve and shift. And again, there is a message for me, very clear, very strong. I know exactly what to do. And it's again, giving me a clear message. Hey, yes, you got to do what you have in your mind. And as you can see, the fish is jumping into the past, but we're going forward into the sun is going into Pisces is shifting and giving you the understanding that the big cycle is moving backwards. The big cycle is saying, yes, become independent, become self independent. Look also into this side, but the circle can be go in both directions. And it depends now how you want to evolve. And when you walk, because that's what Pisces is about. You walk, you're touching your feet. When you touch your feet, you're touching the fish. You're touching Pisces. Then you understand when you walk, it's a circle. You always come back to yourself. You're walking somewhere, you're flying somewhere, but it's always you coming back to yourself. It's constantly head and feet come together. So if you feel like, get into the yoga positions and see how difficult it is to do this pose. But you are learning to release a belief that has trapped you, that has hold you and liberates you. Go and start doing a vision quest. Wow, what a powerful message really amazing. Also for me, there is something very clear that I have to do and I will do it. And, uh, wow. I thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in another reading when the title or the picture is appealing to you until then. I thank you so, so much. Namaste.